The series following the adventures of the characters in Vikings Valhalla attracted a massive following since its first season on Netflix, especially from fans of the earlier Vikings. Now, fans eagerly await the next season already announced by Netflix. Want to know more about Vikings Valhalla? Keep watching for all the details. Let's begin. First up, Vikings follow-up series Vikings Valhalla announces renewal. Back in 2012, Michael Hurst created a series based on the Vikings centered around the legendary hero Ragnar Lodbrok, considered in Norse lore to be their most well-known warrior who rose against Anglo-Saxon England. It follows his journey as a farmer who starts raiding people and eventually becomes the first Scandinavian king. And on February 24th, 2022, its sequel series created by Netflix premiered exactly a decade after the original. The series depicts a time set 100 years after the original series and features a new round of explorers and their adventures. It will cover the end of the Age of the Vikings that came with the Battle of Stamford Bridge in 1066. Currently though, the series has just confirmed its second and third seasons. A favorite among fans, people were naturally eager to know if they would be getting more episodes to binge on soon, making the renewal come as very pleasant news. The series is expected to introduce new characters as well as feature developments in the relationships between the three titular characters. These three main adventurers, the series centers around are Leif Erikson, Freydis Eriksdottir, and Harald Hardrada, all based on real adventurers of the same name. From crossing savage oceans to experiencing bloody battlefields, the series takes viewers on a wild ride and is perfect for fans of medieval history. Next, Vikings Valhalla getting two more seasons. Fans can rejoice since a major pressure that comes every time a season of their favorite series ends has been lifted. Beloved series Vikings Valhalla has been greenlit for a renewal Following the exploits of the three great adventurers, Leif Erikson, Freydis Eric's daughter, and Harald Hardrada, played by Leo Suter, Frida Gustafsson, and Sam Corlett, respectively, the series was an instant hit with its epic story, amassing over 265 million watch hours since its release. While the series only premiered in early 2022, it actually started filming its second season in 2021 and had already wrapped filming by the end of that year, meaning an early release for the new season might be likely. But considering that the first season was filmed even earlier, one should expect at least an early 2023 release date. The first season featured a mighty bloodbath leading to the death of several characters and a finale that left us thirsting for more. Now the anxiety and curiosity about the second season is at an all-time high, but the plot is being kept under wraps as the series is still in the editing stages and the showrunners do not want any leaks to spoil the release of the new season. And now, what to expect in the second season of the series? While the actual plot may be a well-guarded secret, we can still infer and guess as to what direction the new season will be taking. For one, we know that Jarl of Kattegat will unfortunately not be seen on our screens again, as she died in the season 1 finale. Other characters like Soren Pilmark, Bradley Freegard, and Pollyanna McIntosh are expected to continue playing a major role in the series due to their being at the forefront of the first season. Even creator of the series Jeb Stewart confirmed that the three main characters will continue their journey and not return to Kattegat. The Norwegian prince Harald will continue to deal with his identity, while Freydis being declared the last will bring a slew of of problems for her as she is expected to be the savior of all Vikings. The creators have also mentioned that there will be major changes with lead character Leif Erikson, played by Leo Suter, as he tries to separate himself completely from his father's influence and carve out an identity from himself. When to expect the new season? While some popular fellow Netflix series were released only four months or so after they finished filming each season, the same cannot be said for the action and adventure based Vikings Valhalla, which probably requires a whole lot of editing and work before it is ready to be viewed on the screen. This is obviously because while the second season of the series wrapped up filming in late 2021, there have still been no major announcements as to when it'll be airing. The earliest projected dates are somewhere in late 2022 or early 2023, meaning there is still a bit of time before the three main characters are expected to be back on your screens. But the good news is that the show will definitely get a third season, which has already been confirmed to be in pre-production stages. The series will also introduce a new character played by Creed 2 star Florian Montano, who will take on the role of a great Byzantine general who the leads will encounter during their journey. He plays General Maniakes, known for being a tall and fierce warrior of the Empire. Fans can expect the new episodes, which will probably be around eight in number, like the first season, to center around the Byzantine Empire and their encounter with the mighty general. Next, in other news, Netflix series Resident Evil live action showcases exciting trailer. The Resident Evil franchise is extremely iconic for a number of reasons, from the exciting take on zombies and the apocalyptic world to the interesting characters, it 
it is obvious why the franchise has spawned so many movies. And now it'll once again make a comeback in the form of a horror series from Netflix. The series is expected to be a game changer for Netflix as it turns out popular shows across all genres. It stars Lance Reddick as Albert Wesker, a major antagonist in the original video game, and his daughter Jade, played by Tamara Smart, and Ella Belinska in the older and younger versions, respectively. It is expected to largely focus on the mystery between the two and how Jade finds out her father's secrets. The main premise is divided into two timelines, the first in 2022, showcasing Jade and her father leading a seemingly peaceful life, but her realizing there was something wrong with his work at the Umbrella Corporation, while the second in 2036 shows her alone trying to survive in the post-apocalyptic world. The cast is rounded up by Sienna Agudong, Adeline Rudolph, Paula Nunez, Ahad Raza Mir, Connor Gosati, and Turlo Convery, although their roles are yet to be revealed. Disney Plus speeds ahead as Netflix continues to face losses. Netflix has been having a rough year as they struggle to keep the company on track. While the streaming giant was the first of its kind, several competitors like Hulu, HBO, and Amazon Prime have since popped up, including the very popular Disney Plus, which might be considered the major competitor. Right now, Disney Plus has been having a good few months. Although the platform still has a long way to go, it experienced a pleasant boost as it got 7.9 million new subscribers over Wall Street's expected 5.3 million, giving hope to investors after some hard times with Netflix. While it still has a long way to go, it needs at least 9.1 million new subscribers per quarter if it is to reach its goal of 230 to 260 million in 2024, the future of the company still seems bright. Netflix, on the other hand, has been struggling ever since it started raising its prices to exorbitant amounts, losing subscribers as a result. It gave investors quite the shock when it revealed that it had lost many subscribers in the past three months and expects to lose more through June. While Netflix might still be ahead with popular series such as Bridgerton and its roster, it is considered adding ads in order to lower prices as no one would stay no matter how good the content is if they simply cannot afford it. People claiming black Vikings could not exist immediately proven wrong. One of the side effects of the internet is that everyone thinks themselves an expert on everything from behind the screen. The same happened in relation to the Netflix series Vikings Valhalla as people started claiming that the show's depiction of a black woman as a Viking was wrong, only to be proven otherwise. The show features a character, Jarl Astrid Hawk a black Scandinavian who rules over the city of Kattegat, where she carefully observes the intermingling of different religions and cultures and keeps peace within the area. The creator, Jeb Stewart, aimed to showcase the diversity among Vikings, something not commonly known or discussed. But some people were quick to jump on the opposite boat, criticizing the series over incorrect history, though the comments were worded strongly. However, a short internet search will tell you that a small number of black Vikings did in fact exist. This is because of slaves or the Vikings' wide travels. Triona Sorensen, curator of Viking Ship Museum in Denmark, explained that a study of Vikings showed objects like coins, metalwork, or silk from all over the continent, which made their way there through maritime trade routes. So the series is correct in the depiction, as even if they were not common, they certainly existed. That's a wrap for this video. Will you be tuning into the new season? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.